Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy TJ. Welcome back to the channel. I hope all is good with you guys. I hope your trading has been insane. This week in VIP was crazy. Over 21.5% hit. We took about three or four trades. We got two wins. I want to show you how good these trades are, the risk reward factor, and also how important it is to actually close your trades when they're running stupid profits. So you don't get, you know, emotional with your trading and hold it and then it comes back to entry and you're like, for God's sake, I should have closed. I'm going to teach you about the psychology and also show you the trades, show you the trades of VIP. Just to let you guys know, we've got $24.99 super sale on at the moment. Going to end it ASAP, so click on the bot down below, get involved. We've got 412 plus members in VIP right now, which is crazy. So I appreciate all you guys' support, but they are eating. Check the Discord as well, link in the description because you can see all the members profit in the Discord and also when you sign up to VIP, you get VIP chatting in Discord so you can speak to all of the members in VIP. You know, your boy likes to create a good community and that's what we got going. So without further ado, let's get on the charts and let's do this, baby. A few moments later. Okay, so the first signal set was on the 14th of February and this was like a scalp trade on the sales on the bullish uptrend. So, hear me out on this. 1817 sell limit, activated, targeted on the 1H, sells back down. And the reason why it's going to go back down is because we saw a bullish candle on the 1H and then we continue to see it on the three hours. So we got one, two, three hours of bullish. Then I knew the next hour is going to be sells because we're going to retrace price back down to the previous bullish engulfing body, which is right here. Wick, 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 three wicks, and then it's going to go along again. So we caught a quick sell in there. If I can show you what on the daily, this might make a little bit more sense on the 1817 sell. On the daily, we had 1866 on this body, 1867 on this body to the left here, and also 1871. So therefore, I was always going to get rejection here. As you can see, body's rejecting, rejected, sold down, smashed our take profit, making us an easy, okay, because we had TP1 and TP2 on this. We made 180 pips on this trade which is, you know, it's decent stuff. It's 9% in total, so it's a good start. And that was only a sell in a bullish market. So it's kind of like a price retest. It's a, it's a price retracement. And uh, yeah, it's a good trade. It's a good trade, not gonna lie. But there is a better trade. So, you know, let's go through this. Let's go through this. So we sent that. That was 180 pips when we sent that. I sent a buy limit. Never got targeted because we never pulled back to 1858. Then we had sells at 1878, which had closed for minus 1%. It touched the sell at 828 in the morning. Now, there are some crazy, crazy spikes up. So that was on the 14th of Feb, that trade. Now we're on the 17th. Three days off trading. There's only five trading days in a week. So just want you guys to understand, you don't have to trade every single day. We made good profit on Monday. Then we come back on Thursday, 17th of Feb, going for the trade. Hit SL, we take the minus one. So let's go on the 17th. This was at 8 a.m. in the morning. So 17th a.m., look at this. I thought it was just gonna, you see this drop here? I thought it was gonna come up to about 1877, then sell off back down all the way to retest 1821. But obviously, bullish market staggers up. It's been insane recently, so therefore, price actually spiked us, which was this wick right here, this hour candle. Crazy bullish. Now, we took the minus 1%, that is all good, you know, no stress, because 17th of Feb, again, your boy, 1893. So get 1893 right here. 17th of Feb at 8.39. Wicked up, right here. This is where we caught our sales, 1893 sales. And I just want to explain why we caught sales, you know. London opened at 7 a.m., took price up. 8.30, we saw that, I got wicked out, and I was like, you know what, I'm not going to get emotional with this trade, I'm going to wait, wait until it touches 8.93, and I'll show you on a daily why, because it does make sense, but, um, yeah, this trade, we closed for 100, and, uh, and 90 pips, which is, which is crazy stuff, and it's all, obviously, you know, with this sell limit, we're basically risk-free, and again, we're selling on the bullish market, but it's easy sells, and we could catch buyers, however, I do like my sales and there is a reason for it. So if I go on 1893 right here, if you look, the wick from the daily, 1960, the lower high, 1892, 70. Therefore, 1893 sell is my wick out. It is gonna retest there and then gather, collect orders and then sell. And that's exactly 
what it did. And it did that exact easy trade again. We closed for plus 190 pips. So about 95 pips on each position. And then what happened when we closed? Buys straight back up to 1902. We've got a sell limit at 1903, which is sent on Friday, which I'm still waiting to hit. Recording this on Sunday, Monday, tomorrow, so make sure to join VIP. That was another crazy trace. Then again, beautiful profits, easy rejection on the daily. That I thought that was going to happen, and it did. And the, we're selling in a bullish market, and we're still seeing results, and it's crazy. So I want to tell you about the buyers that we caught at the 17th of Feb at 2. Now, as I said, I trade both buys and sells. I'll make another video on this. However, sent it at 2.14. So what happened at 2.14? Price spiked up, spiked up again, pulled back. Got buys in there because I know that buys, the market's buys, it's going to stagger. So we had 18.89 and then we had 18, 18. So we had entry at 18.89, we had our profit target at 18.99, and obviously an SL at 1886. We had a 20 pip SL at 18.87, however, I moved it just so we didn't get wicked out. And what can you see here? What happened? Literally within a few hours, TP absolutely smashed. So there's me in one day selling and buying in the market in just one day. And uh yeah, I'm just utilizing the daily support of resistance, using the top wick on the daily at 1912, lower higher, which was 1892.70, using that for my sales. Then I knew it was gonna be a buy market, saw the buys happen, saw it reject a little bit, come back to retest the previous lower high slash the body on that bullish 1H. And then yeah, got buys in. We closed for plus 60 pips, which is 3% for me. However, it did actually hit TP. So if you held, smash take profit. So that's a plus 21.5%. Sent four trades, one SL, three winners. Let's go, baby. And that's basically how you trade on the markets. I hope you guys enjoyed that little breakdown. As I showed you, you can buy and sell in the same day if you can actually read the charts well. I'm gonna do a lot of stuff on this. Obviously, I upload all the time on YouTube. My consistency hasn't been the best, but I promise you, if I turn the camera, this is no lie of a joke. I've got seven videos. I'm gonna be uploading every single day. I'm gonna see how long I can keep this because you know, you guys show me the support on my videos. I wanna work harder. I've been working on something else that I can't actually say at the minute, but it's launching next week and I might show you next week. Um, but yeah, top stuff. I, it's a new business I'm crazy excited about it. it's to do with Forex working with a broker as well can't actually say much but it's not you know live accounts with it's kind of like a prop firm it's insane I love you guys I hope you guys can learn from me watch all my content join up the free telegram free trades VIP 2499 sale and discord chat to members see the profits and yeah I just feel blessed to be able to be able to trade to be able to be, you know, working and trading for myself, it's, it's honestly, it's a great feeling and it's all to do with hard work and consistency. I made mistakes in, in the past, you know, I've lost tens of thousands, which is terrible. I do explain that in one of the videos that I've got jotted down on the whiteboard. But until that video, I'll catch you guys in a bit. Much love, stay safe and smartly trade, baby.